Hello everyone, welcome back to Lily and Liam. Today I am doing something that you may have seen some other YouTubers do before. I am playing Sims and what you do for this type of challenge. Well, I'm mixing it up a little bit, you'll see in the end, but like you take two dogs or cats and you breed them. That's what I'm doing today, so let's get started. Um, so this is Timber, the lovely fox that I marked up a lot and changed the fur of. And you'll see why I have a person too in the end, but this is Anna, and she's a vampire. This is her dark form, but yeah, like I said, you'll see why I have that in the end. So this is Timber, who is our lovely male. And this is Ancient, a lovely female. Now, she is a ghost dog. And he is a vampire fox. So, we'll see how this turns out. Now, let's play with genetics. So, this is just what Timber's baby would look like with a random parent. Um, but we don't need to know that, so let's add in her, and then, um, I'm gonna go grab something, be right back. Welcome back, sorry about that, I had to go get a dice, and so we're gonna see how many times we're gonna randomize their son. Four times. Okay, so, one two three four it's a little fox i did not expect this i i did um well honestly i did not really want a baby fox no offense foxy you're still really cute but <laughs> still i'm literally gonna name it foxy just cuz just and it's he's gonna be hairy a couch potato and playful instead of this one just because of his other traits i think he should be a glutton <laughs> um so this is him and we'll see what traits he inherits from these two also, I might mark these two up a little bit because I just realized I didn't put any wings on them. I know that sounds really crazy, but like, I really love wings. And I forgot how to put wings on them, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's in here. So I'll just do that with you guys. I haven't played Sims in a while, so... I kind of forgot where everything is and stuff. So, yep, nope, don't have any wings. Okay, so, yeah. This is the baby. And this is Foxy. Now, let's put, make another pet. And this time... I think we're going to roll the dice and then see. It says four times again. So one, two, three, four. Yes! I really wanted one with the markings like her mother or his mother. I'm going to call this a daughter though because I really want it to be a daughter. I hope it grows up with those big ears. They're so cute. <sighs> Um, and here's their daughter. They kind of look alike, but their, like, fur is, like, totally different. Um, we'll randomize her traits. She's loyal, aggressive, and adventurous. That kind of matches, so we'll leave that as is. And let's make the last baby. 
I know they normally do it like all babies, but like that's not how I'm doing it because ah, I have a challenge for the end. Sorry, I just dropped the dice. <laughs> But this one, I don't think I'm going to roll the dice because I really want it to be certain thing. So, <gasps> yes, this is the certain thing I wanted it to be. Okay, so this is what I want it to be. We're going to name him Flame because he just likes like a flame to me. There's Flame. And let's see his traits. Stubborn, glutton, and active. And I don't think we named her. We didn't. I'm gonna name her Aura. She just seems like an aura to me. And then let's see what they're gonna look like when they're older. Also, let's look at some traits of their parents. Yeah, they don't have any special traits, so actually, let's just dive in. Foxy, I'm going to change you to a girl because that's a girl name. Um, Foxy, let's change you to a fox voice because that just... Let's see what he looks like when he's older. His snout is actually way cuter than I thought it would be. And he got those ears! Look at the ears! I love those ears. And he turned fluffy. He's like a fluffy, curly-haired, curly-tailed, weird-eared fox. I really love that. <laughs> now let's see what his sister turns out to be. Aura? What are you? Oh, she, they all get that weird snout when they grow up. Like, they have, like, that cute puppy snout, and then they get that skinny snout. Like, I think it's a fox snout. Like, she looks so, like, like her mom, but also, like, a little bit skinnier than her mom. Like, this is her mom. This is her. <laughs> Their markings are very similar. But there's some definite traits that are different on her mom. Um, so let's see what their brother turns out to be. <laughs> oh, wow. Like, there's, like, no differences. Like, look. This is their father. This is the son. We gotta change them all back to puppies now because I'm gonna tell you the surprise that's in store. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to play a game with them and see how, well, pretty much just try and take care of this family and why i only had three pups is because i want more room so that anna can have a family too and we're probably going to start out in the vampire starter house because she's a vampire <laughs> i just wanted to do like a halloweeny themed one so this is anna and her traits are evil Gloomy, art lover, and she's a renaissance sim, and she learns quickly. And so, let's see what it's like in a world. This is so cute. <laughs> so cute. Let's play! And now let's start at Forgotten Hollow, because that's just where we should start. Okay, um, I don't know if I should get this house or get the empty plot. I feel like even though they're like less money to start with, 
they end up being more money because then you just go overboard because you're like, oh, the lot was so cheap. Let's just go crazy and buy everything. And in here, it's all ready for you. So I'm going to move into this one and I'm going to have it furnished because that's just easier. And then I don't have to like do everything. And we're into our new home. Let's go explore, puppies. Wait, let's go explore. What? Let's go explore, puppies. <laughs> okay, so I kind of forget how to do Sims. So don't judge me, people. Um, she's in the sun, and she hates that. So what's she doing? She's going to go to the TV. Let's call your puppies, um, ka, 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 ka. Well, they're all coming. It's so cute. Come here, puppy, Foxy. coming in. Oh, I think I gotta go pick them up. Mm, pick up. No, mama, come here. Oh, she loves pets. Pet obsession. Oh, wait, no, that doesn't say she loves pets. Sorry, um, it's hard to see. But, like, let's take and put Foxy down here. Oh my gosh, I'm burning. We gotta go inside and, like, go up to my coffin, which I assume is here, because... Whoa. <gasps> There's no coffin! I gotta get rid of this stupid bed. <laughs> um... Sorry if that sounds really offensive and stuff, but like, well, probably it doesn't because it's just a bed, but like, I really want a coffin because I love coffins. Because, who, what's not to like about coffins? Now I gotta, are you easy? Okay, I'm just gonna go to. Yeah, like I said, I haven't watched this, I haven't played this game in like a long time, so I'm starting to relearn things. I'm gonna... This is a luxury coffin. Should I get the luxury coffin? Yes, let's get the luxury coffin. Just cause that's fun. <laughs> Um, this is like, I don't know if you guys know this because I don't know if all of you play Sims, but like, this is like a giant pet head, pretty much, and I like to use it because it's just a giant pet bed, literally, and you need a pet bed, so... Actually, I can't go, I can't fit anything in my house, so I'm going to put, like, two pet beds outside, and then go into pets, and then, why don't I get the super expensive food bowl?